In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NH42CO3. This is silver nitrate, then we have ammonium carbonate. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. I can see that I have one silver here and two here. So I'm gonna put a two in front of the AgNO3. Now I have two nitrate ions and only one nitrate ion here. So I could put a two here, that balances my nitrates. I have two ammonium ions, but that's okay. I have two ammonium ions here, and then I have one carbonate here and one carbonate here. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Next, we'll write the state for each substance. So when we look at nitrates, and these nitrates are very soluble. So we're going to put an AQ for the silver nitrate and the ammonium nitrate. That'll be soluble as well. Carbonates aren't soluble in general, if you know your solubility rules with a few exceptions, potassium, sodium, and ammonium carbonate. In these cases, the carbonate is soluble, so this is aqueous too. It's gonna to dissolve, break apart into ions. Silver carbonate though, that's insoluble. Since it's insoluble, when these two substances react, we get a precipitate. It falls to the bottom of the test tube. Because of that, we write S for solid, since it's a precipitate. Once we've done that, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Silver is always one plus, and the whole nitrate ion is one minus. Good one to remember. We have two silver ions, and I'm not gonna write the states now, let's do that at the end. Two of those nitrate ions, NO3 minus. The ammonium ion, that whole thing is one plus. The carbonate, two minus. And you either memorize these, or if you're allowed, you look them up on a table of polyatomic ions. So we have two of these ammonium ions, that NH4 plus, and we have just the one carbonate here. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart, so we're just gonna write Ag2CO3, and that'll stay together, and then we have the positive and the negative, so two ammonium ions, just like in the reactants, and then two nitrate ions, also just like the reactants. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. When I look at the reactants here and the products, I see I have these two nitrates in the reactants. I also have that in the products. These are spectator ions. We can cross those out. Two ammonium ions in the reactants here. And then in the products down here, two ammonium ions again, spectator ions. Cross them out. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NH42CO3. Let me clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus ammonium carbonate. If you look at it, the charge is balanced. We have two times one plus, that's two plus, then two minus. So the total charge, the net charge is zero over here. This is a neutral compound, net charge is zero as well. Charge is conserved. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NH42CO3. Note that Ag2CO3, that's the solid, so that's the precipitate in this reaction. Thanks for watching.